What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And I'm here with my Instant Pot Duo Mini. Well actually an Instant Pot 7-in-1 Duo Mini. 3 quart pressure cooker. Just plugged it in for the first time y'all. Let's take a look at the front panel. Get my zoom right there. I plugged it out so I could get my zoom right because it, it was creating a blur. But anyway, let's go over the buttons really quick. As you can see, you got your soup button, you got meat, bean and chili, slow cook, saute, we got rice, we got some porridge, we got steam, which is awesome. I love that button. Yogurt, cool. Your pressure cook button. Keep warm, pressure level, delay start, cancel. This is pretty awesome. And this is for your levels low to high of pressure. This still does your instant pot jingle. It's a tragedy for me to see the dream is over. But I never will forget the day we met. Girl, I'm gonna miss you. Y'all remember that song from Millie Vanilli back in the 80s? Come on now. Or 90s. I don't remember. Probably the 80s. Late 80s. Probably the 90s. <laughs> but anyway, that's the back, guys. Don't forget to add that thing there. Breakaway plug. Short, as usual. It's seeming my six quart ultras plug is short so this is short as well all good we we'll go ahead and cut this off right now all right okay well what's not pimp like is this right here I was hoping they would have the button um, to push down like how it is on my um, my six quart instant pot ultra but this is the traditional turn and let the steam out which is fine but I was hoping that since this is the latest edition of an Instant Pot, hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's get to the sexy part. Alright guys, so that's the inner pot right there, stainless steel as you should expect. Comes with this little rack, which is cool. What I like, what's pimped out about this is on the, the cover, I could let it stand up like this on this side or if you notice on the other side it has the same thing you can make it stand on the other side that's pimp like I bet you your pressure cooker can't do that let's do side by side so the Kasori we know is two quart and that's a three quart instant pot so from what I see of course the well not of course, but the Instant Pot is taller, but they look about the same. I, I can't tell the difference of how wide they are. They look the same, which is cool because this is going on my counter. Um, the Kasori was on my counter space, so um, I'm getting rid. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm getting rid of my two quart Kasori and my four quart Cook Essentials. This three quart is going to replace them both. I'm going to put them on Craigslist and sell them both for cheap. Like, I don't know, like $30 each or something like that. Some lucky person will get it. I'm going to put my two-quart Kasori inner pot in the three-quart. It fits in there fine. So, it's just a little bit bigger. Cool. All right, enough of this. Let me go ahead and wash this out, and we're going to do a water test Doug style. After this video, I'm going to do another video on a meal on my six quart um, ultra. So this, what I'm about to make, will be a part of it. So I'm going to make some uh, fettuccine in here as a, a, a you know first run. And shout out to the manager at Target that kept the party going. Um, they gave this to me at $59.99. Target had it at $69.99, but Walmart had it at $59.99, and they did a price match. And the way it looked, she wasn't supposed to do it, but she just looked both ways and kept the party going. Shout out to her one time. 
Appreciate it. And that's why I got it. I was gonna wait till it came. Now, I could've got it at Walmart and got it shipped to my house, but it was out of stock in my, in the stores in my area. But Target had it, so I was like, you know what? I have to go to Target anyway, and if they honor the price, I'll get it. If not, I'll just wait. And they honored it, so that was cool. All right, let's get some water in there. All right. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this for eight minutes. So I'm just gonna hit pressure cook. I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna go down to eight minutes. Yeah. All right, guys. All I have to do is drain this water and I'm good to go. Now, I didn't, what I did is, um, I didn't do it for the full eight minutes. I, I think I cut it short at five minutes. So they took, it took a little longer than normal for it to come to pressure, I guess, maybe because it was the first time or whatever. So I stopped it at five minutes. And luckily, I, <laughs> lucky thing I did. But it's all good, let me drain it. All right, came out good. So it's ready for uh, what I'm gonna do next in my six quart. So that's pretty much my review, guys. Um, my first look, anyway, of the three quart Instant Pot Duo Mini. Um, I like it. I think it's sexy. You should go ahead and go and get it. Um, right now, it is, what is it, $59.99 at Walmart right now. Um, it's about a week after Black Friday. Um, I know for Black Friday it was $49, but I, as you guys know, I bought my Instant Pot Ultra on Black Friday, so I wasn't about to buy both at the same time uh, to let a week pass. Um, and then I got this. So I definitely like it. I think it's a go. And, and oh, one thing I also want to mention to my subscribers and to just viewers. I mean, well, at least with pressure cookers, all pressure cookers are the same, right? If, if I did this at five minutes in uh, any pressure cooker, um, two quart, six quart, whatever, it would have done the same thing, right? It would have came out the same way. So Pressure cookers is this it is pretty much the same across the board. Only difference with pressure cookers are um, you might have additional features like yogurt um, or canning or stuff, you know, slow cook. And, and those features from what I see, I mean, I have a pressure cooker group, by the way, and the link will be in, to that group uh, will be in the description. I don't see many people using those features. Um, some can so feed, um, other things. But I'm talking about pressure cooking. It's all the same across the board. I just like this, and I decided to get it. It's a good price. And, um, you know, yo, that's what I wanted to say. The only difference, really, that I see in pressure cookers is the inner pot. Some are non-stick, some are stainless steel, and some are ceramic. I Nowadays, I tend to go for the ceramic and uh, stainless steel inner pots versus the non-stick that will eventually probably chip away. So, but that's the only difference, and and the non-stick ceramics don't chip like right away. I mean, it may ch it may take years for that to. It may never even happen. So, I mean, they're all the same. So, no worries there. If you if you have a two core Kasori, do you, should you upgrade to this? I don't know. This is going to replace two pressure cookers. It's going to take away my two core and my four core. So for me, it makes sense. I don't know if it does for you, but if you don't have a two core and you're looking for a smaller pressure cooker, don't be afraid of success. The link will be in the description where you can get this on Amazon um, as well. But again, if you're uh, if you're getting it anytime soon within the week, definitely hit up Target or Walmart because you can get it at the cheapest price there. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, thanks for even looking at my video. It's cooking with Doug.